Welcome back, everyone. This week's broadcast, we are here in the building to preach the gospel. But guess what? We're going to share the message with you, too. Those of you who couldn't be here with us. Message today. It's an old school message. Moses was told it years ago, Robin. Can you take a guess what it is? Let my people, people go. go. The clocks would change last night, right? I'm reminded of the story in scripture. It says that Joshua was chasing the enemy and they were route destroying the enemy. I think they had already taken down 100,000 of the opponent. There's only like 10,000 left. And he didn't want the army of the enemy to regroup. He needed more time, but the sun was going down. And he had a thought. He said to himself, if the sun could only stand still, I'd have enough time. Because he knew if he regathered, the morning would come, the night they'd be scattered. And God gave him a thought, stop the sun. So listen, if man in the natural can set the clocks back, can't God what do? What can God do? Please. Yeah, it's time to go. It's time to let God's people go. It's time for that sun to stand still so you can get done all that God yeah, has Joel to, to do. Joel 2 says, in the last days, I will pour out my spirit upon all what? All flesh. And your sons and daughters will? Prophesy. They'll speak the word the of the Lord. The old metal dream dreams. Come on. And Young visions. men will have visions. Get it's pumped up. Fire it up. in the race. Keep going. Peace. God told something to Moses to tell the enemy. Yes. And he was saying it because he wanted to bless God's people, that be you. And what did God instruct Moses to say? Let my people go. He had God's people in bondage. And you would think when God said something that someone would listen, right? Now, what did Pharaoh do when Moses first went? He said no. He said no ten times. He said no ten times. Now. Most, Moses must have been thinking, just like some of you, did God really tell me that? Now the scripture says that God hardened Pharaoh's heart to say no many times, and then it also says that Pharaoh hardened his heart. So sometimes God did it on purpose, sometimes not. But the bottom line was by the time, he, by the time God was done with the whole deal, Pharaoh was basically helping Moses pack his bags. Because the enemy is stubborn and does not want to let you go. Mm -hmm. He doesn't want you to be free. The enemy is very stubborn in our lives to let us free from things. If it's fear, if it's a certain struggle or bondage, right. he's, ve he's very stubborn. But guess what? God, I love it. He just chases us down. He does Woo! what he has to do. So sometimes even when you're walking in freedom, the freedom that Christ gives you, and right. you're feeling good, and it's like you got few days a few weeks whatever you know the enemy loves to come back and when he does come back like imagine that he lets them go and then Pharaoh's gonna come one more time but then what happened it said horse and rider drown into the sea Woo! God went and drowned the Pharaoh and all the horses so God will fight but you got to keep walking and I'm sure they were sweating it out you know, looking at the sea and looking behind them at the enemy coming, and they're like, Pharaoh, what do we, or Moses, what do we do? So sometimes we're sweating it out, but God will open the sea, get you safe to the other side, right. so that you can go to the promised land or the promises that he has for you. But you got to keep walking. You got to keep doing things to walk in your freedom. Pick up the phone, talk to someone, come to church, go to Bible study, right. get on a podcast, put good in you. If you don't, if it's garbage in, or crap in, crap out. Good stuff in, good stuff out. Put some worship in, maybe some peace. You gotta work at it. She's fired okay? up. Oh, well, because I know, I know what I do for my life. And guards and barriers are healthy because they keep the river flowing and bubbling. PC teaches us without the boundary banks, it's a stinky swamp. So you want your life to be bubbling and full of life. And so wherever you go, people are like, I want what she has. I want what he has. Man, the way he handles that under pressure, the way she does. I, You know, people are attracted to the victory in you. And also your weaknesses, those things that you're struggling. That's why I said don't be ashamed to talk about your testimony. Because other people, pretty sure, are well, going through similar Well, things. weaknesses are good. Because his strength is made, that last his strength made perfect when we're weak. We're weak. We try to hide our weaknesses. But weaknesses is actually, yeah. it's a good thing. Joel chapter 2. What does it say that God will do in the last days, Robin? 
I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Right. All flesh. The young, the old, mm -hmm. men and women. And we're, be, we're witnessing and being a part of that. Let my people go is the cry of God's heart. He wants you and I to walk in everything that we have. And I, I really felt God tell me this today. You got a long way to go still. But you're going. <laughs> we all have a long way to go. But you're going. Do you understand today, November 7th, 2021, you are on your way. Yes. Now there's a lot of people outside this place. You know them well. They could be your neighbor, your co-worker. They may not be on their way today. They have a long road to go, but need help. So why do you think God placed you where you are? Thank you, Lord, that we're just so grateful today, Lord. Thank you for your grace, for your peace, your favor, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that you're always a hundred steps ahead, Lord. Even when we're worried about tomorrow, you said take no thought for tomorrow. For tomorrow will have worries of its own. Lord, sufficient for today is your grace. And the joy in the sorrow, I find it just the same. And behind the darkest mornings, there's a peace I can't explain. I'm so grateful. guys so much for tuning in remember to go online at laborloveusa.org hit that donate button or mail in your tithes and offerings to 3215 north 5th street in east Stroudsburg, pennsylvania 18301 we will see you guys next week and thank you for your faithfulness to god and to us for always done.